Good start. I've slept through the alarm all week, falling at the first hurdle. But not today. What are you doing down there? That's better. I'm in the shower within five minutes. I'm on a roll. Neck, front and back, shoulder blades, left to right, left arm, top to bottom, outside in, then left side. Repeat for the right side. Creasy bits, front to back, right cheek, left cheek, left thigh, clockwise, back to front. Right shin. Now that's what I call efficient. Not like before when it was a complete free-for-all. I mean, once you've known the best way of doing something, why would you want to do it any other way? Sometimes I have these thoughts that I don't want. I used to figure it was an act of imagination, but they come whenever they please. Terribly violent, or sexual, or plain old doom and gloom. Or that my actions determine the fate of others. But they're not mine. I'm just a drugs mule for bad notions. If the thought police existed, I'd be hanged for the things that just pop into my head. <sighs> Why is she always sneaking up on me? I'm trying to get ready. Uh, to Artie and Artie. There's no one in there. You mean Farty Marty? Oh my gosh, what's this going to do? It's the same thing with festering irritations over brief actions and so For you, they're a big, so what? For me, they're blown out of all proportion. Microscopic pinprick moments transformed into a colossal milestone and plunging daggers. At least it's a good hair day. And the correct day of the week for washing it. Maybe I could shave my head. If it's good enough for Vin Diesel. It's good enough for me. I'm dried and dressed by 9 a.m. And there's no time sucking posts in the letterbox. Not this time, you crafty bugger. Sweet mother of mercy. The day's coming together nicely. Next day I learned that five to ten minutes after that moment, Mum went away. Car crash. Day 61 presses on me. Then day minus 90 joins the pile with a running start. Hmm. Time to kill before lunch. Work emails and random things. But I warn myself every 10 minutes not to fall down the internet rabbit hole. One article with, and people can't handle it in the title, or a viral video of someone's goofy pet too many, and the entire day's gone to hell in a side boob flashing clickbait listicle. Flawless victory over lunch. I got up to this point two days ago. Then I knocked over a glass and it smashed in the floor. Shouldn't have been in such a rush. I'd been using that glass for seven years. Its volume and balance were ideal. It was my favorite one. It was reliable. You just feel wrong. Get over yourself. Stupid imposter glass, who do you think you are? Down to work, bang on time. And no phone calls to get in the way. This is how it should be. Nothing in the way. No power cuts, no working away from home, and no stupid computer problems. What's that supposed to mean? My arse it can't be loaded. 
Marty, calm down. I don't need to calm down. This thing just needs to stop being an idiot and work. It's just a machine. Come on. Let's go out. You have one job. To work so bloody well do it. Any number of random events have sought to screw me over, but now, it's on like Donkey Kong. How much time do you think the typical office drone wastes in an eight hour day? Idle gossip, tea breaks, stretched out trips to the toilet? <laughs> With a bit of planning and some pure focus, I can do a full day's work in an afternoon. And I'm on fire. Book cover, done. Film poster, bosh. Election leaflet, smashed out of the park. And still, no phone calls. My karma levels must be good today. Oh, you've jinxed it. Not today, not today. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, why? Well, how's dad? You should come see him. Yeah, I will. When did you last visit anyway? Why don't you come today? I can't. I'm working. I've got a deadline. Uh, okay. Well, it's your choice. This feeling seemed to come and go when I was a little kid. Like it was both normal and unusual. The next day, day minus 90, was when Dad had the heart attack. Nailed it. I'll have the season done in 11 days, if I'm able to keep going at this current pace. Your brothers await you on the shelf. All lined up and nice, you saucy buggers. I know all of this is considered a joke by normal standards, but... I could just stop altogether. I can't ignore the surge of anxiety when I screw up. Well, I actually did on 288. Touch something the wrong way. Ignored every compulsion. It's like a... Pressure. Every thought. Bearing down at me from out of nowhere. Laugh if you must. Oh, stop rambling, Marty. It's just so tiring when everything has to be perfect. Hello? I gave it up for a whole day. That was when my brother finally went away. Cancer. No. No, no. I'm on a roll here. I brought pizza. Pepperoni, your favorite. My twin sister, Mindy, capable and resilient. The Alpha, as I like to call her. She's still here. Mindy and Marty. Touchwood. 
fingers crossed. P's the runaway thoughts. Do X to prevent Y. Which one do you want? I think that one gets more sun. I can never say anything right. Stop it. Cheer me, stop it. I'm not going anywhere. Me or Sally. <laughs> I'm too stubborn for anything else. <laughs> I sent the Grim Reaper a memo and everything. <laughs> so don't think otherwise, it'll all be fine. Hmm? Parker told me the same thing. Marty! From now on, it's smooth sailing. Although I can't help but feel a twisting knot in my stomach. I can't stop thinking about Mindy. My head's full of bad scenarios because I didn't let her in. Car crashes, terrorist bombs, murders, anything short of an alien abduction. Oh, Jesus, Marty, don't okay, tempt so fate. The smallest thing goes wrong and you fly off the handle. I move something and you're on my back about it. What the hell are you doing? I just want the old Marty back. She's right, of course. Why won't you talk to I'm me? I'm the high maintenance one. We've been here before, but it is different this time. I should probably say something. I know she feels bad about this. Where did he go? About having to be the bad guy. Then it was weeks of constantly going over theoretical ways that I could have kept Sally from leaving me. Things I could have said to change her mind and make I can't do this anymore. Take after take, rewriting the course of that final argument in the silent pleas in my head over and over and over again. If I maintain this pace of one chapter a day, I'll have it finished in... 16 days. I tried to think I've already failed to alleviate the tension in my shoulders and neck, this is about the closest I've ever got. What is it about the sight of a finished book that's so awesome? I'm trying to think about other things. Movie clips or song riffs. Pursues the muscle memory. Trouble is, when someone says, don't think of an aloof elephant wearing a top hat, holding a pink balloon with his trunk. That's the first thing to crash land into your mind with its gargantuan arse. I'm seconds away from the perfect run. Efficient, precise, uninterrupted. The light will go off with seven rubs. Perfect. My paranoia of a switch causing an electrical fault that results in a fire, which would wipe out everything. Consider it sated. Just let me do it. Go away and leave me alone, for Christ's sake, just let me do it! I will achieve the perfect run, and the tight, binding sensation inside me will dissipate. Maybe then Mindy will be safe once and for all, without the need for my intervention. Keep things as they should be. Maybe I'll get it tomorrow.
and your head spinning round and round, and you hold. Smile.